Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Code Veronica here with Morris at the end of the last part. We just, we just, uh, alright, we bullshitted our way through the puzzle, what can I say? Uh, we, <laughs> we ended up with the vase, though, um, which I have no idea, oh yeah, actually, I guess I should, I guess I should check it. Um, an earthenware vase with a nice flower design. Is there anything in it? Oh, here we go. There appears to be something inside, take it, absolutely. Because, yeah, I was going to say, there's no way the queen's, the queen ant's object was in the vase. Okay, I see. Does this have anything on it? <laughs> there's another even smaller ant inside the ant. It contains a red ruby. That probably goes inside those, uh, one of those bedrooms, I guess, that we saw before. Uh, but yeah, we kind of bullshit our way through that. Uh, we need to go back. Hang on. Let's check the map. Yeah, I know. We need to go back and, uh, and get the grenade launcher because there's no way we can take out those those arm freaks without it. Um, oh god, here we go, here we go. It's happening, it's happening. Guess it makes sense to take out these guys as well. Is this guy dead? He is dead, that was really easy. <laughs> yeah, it seems like we're going to be coming through here a few times so it makes sense to just clear the way. But yeah, I don't have that many healing items, so I can't really stand there and just wail on those guys without taking a few hits. No idea how to fight them while dodging. That's just... that is out of the question. <laughs> Alright, so we'll, uh, I guess we'll put this away for now. We don't necessarily need it, but we'll take... No, not that. We'll take... Whoa, 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 hey, we're getting a little excited here. Take the grenade launcher. Don't need the acid rounds, I don't think. Save those for, uh, the really big bad bosses. Of which we have seen none. I don't think we've even fought a boss yet. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could count the worm thing, maybe, but we didn't... Like, you don't have to fight that, so... Oh, what? He's right there! Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was cheeky. That was way cheeky. Is there anything over there? Oh, no, we've, we've searched over there. I cannot believe I got away with that. But yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll get in here, boom these guys, because it's bound to be, I'm, I'm assuming the other beetle is in here, or the other ant, sorry, item is in here. You know, you've got, you've got your puzzle room, and then you've got your, uh, oh god. Oh yeah, son, ow! Is that necessary? Oh wow, I'm really wasting these rounds. Oh my god, I can't even fire quicker than it can hit me. That's so annoying. Oh, wow, we really took some hits there. Eh, we'll see if I find some herbs in here. <laughs> hey, what is this? Hey, I can see a shiny, why can I not? Oh, there we go. Take the eagle plate, absolutely. I thought we already did this. <laughs> I thought we already did the thing with the eagle. Maybe there's another. I just have no idea. <laughs> Alrighty, well, what else have we got going on in this room? Handgun bullets, always. Anything else? Herbs, maybe? Jeez. You don't have to be so stingy. There is just nothing in here. Oh, piece of paper. That'll do me. Oh my god, Hunk! Hunk's report. Attention, Mr. Alfred Ashford, head of the facility. Today at 4.32, I arrived successfully from the Umbrella Transport Base with a large-scale BUW capsule. Extreme care was taken during transport and all 108 checkpoints were confirmed condition green in accordance with standard procedures. It is currently being stored in a freezer. There's one thing that I don't understand. We are normally assigned to special missions. Why were we ordered to transport a frozen capsule this time? That doesn't sound special enough to me. I understand that this may be classified as top secret, but without knowledge of the contents, our safety could be at risk during the transport. This is especially important if the contents are potentially harmful. We would like to ask you to provide us with more information should we be assigned similar missions in the future. I still remember the good old days that I spent here in the military training center. <laughs> Nothing has changed since then. We will gear up for the next mission today at 11. Umbrella Special Forces Unit, Honk. Come on, Honk. You're not concerned about safety. Your name's Honk, for Christ's sake. You don't need to know. It's a slide projector. It doesn't seem to be working perfectly. It's working slightly, but it isn't working perfectly. 
Pictures of strange people on the walls. Nothing, uh, nothing else. I'm surprised that this room has really got a lack of items in here. We did get an eagle plate, though. I'm not really sure what to do with it. Unless there's something else on it. Nope, nothing on the back. Ashwood family crest. An eagle... An eagle grafts a gold halberd. The indigo blue plate portion appears to be made of a special alloy. Whoa, hang on a second. Special alloy, what... What does that mean? <laughs> Why would it highlight that for me? Oh well, I guess there's nothing else. In here... I'm not really sure where to go next. I think we've exhausted everything in this uh, in this area. Oh wow, I'm so lost on these map screens. What the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure where to go next. Maybe there's a room that I've missed? Or maybe there's a door that I've missed. The prison. Surely we can't go back to the prison. That seems a little too out of the way, don't you think? Although the way it said, the way it just highlighted, oh yeah, it's made of a special alloy, it makes me think that we gotta go and make a copy of it, but I don't even know where it would go anyway. Hmm. Interesting. Unless, 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 unless. Whoa. You know what, we should have really take, taken care of that guy. Let's just go, let's just check the item box. See what items we actually have here. I mean, unless... You know, I really can't remember what was blocking our progress before. <laughs> I don't need this anymore, do I? Like, back through that, uh, Golden Luger room. Oh no, we just hit the, uh, the place with those beetles, didn't we? Maybe we, maybe I could go there and... I don't know, put that in one of the things and get a key item, and maybe that'll open up something else. I don't know. What do we need that emblem card for, either? I'm getting confused here, guys. I'm, uh... Slightly lost for I think the first time since since we started. <laughs> Genuinely lost. Not lost, but stuck for where to go next. Oh, hang on! There's a door there. No, yeah, we do need to go back to the prison. I can just see it flashing green. That's where that thing. That's what that thing is for. Right. Okay. Still got it on us, haven't we? Alright, I'm gonna... Ooh, do I want to heal? Nah. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay. Okay, so we gotta go back to the prison. That's our next... That's our next stop, guys. Oh, God, I bet I'm gonna get hit down here as well now. Okay, if I just go on this side of the stairs, maybe I can just... Oh, no, there we go. That's That's fine. Oh, come on, really? Alright, come to papa. There we go. Okay, now we've done, we've opened quite a few doors, so there's probably going to be respawning enemies right about now. Which would be the wor Holy hell, that's a herb. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, how many times have we been through here and I've never seen that herb before? Is there one on the other side? Nope. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's fine. Free herbs, I like it. Alright, let's roll. Prison's back through here, if I remember rightly. Although we are going to have to run past those two, uh, yep. That'll do. 
Can they run? Nah. They don't know what they're doing. Although getting back through that area is going to be real fun. I am psyched about that free herb. That's the best thing that's happened all week. I'm not poisoned or anything, am I? Oh, I'm kind of dying here, actually. Yeah, maybe I should use these. <laughs> Alrighty, good as new. Is that a door? No. It was a door, not anymore. Okay. Okay, we're good. We can we can survive going through here. I've been through the prison a million times. It's left through here, I believe. The place has got crowded since I've been away. <laughs> uh, let me just uh, double check the map here. Yeah, it's just we can we did open this door, didn't we? Yeah. Hey, doggies! I remember you. <laughs> How you been, guys? How you been? Oh, come on, really? Sorry. But, uh, oh. Okay, I'm not that sorry. <laughs> oh, that guy's dead. That guy's dead. Okay, if you could auto-aim, player, that'd be really good. Thank God these guys are seem to be really dumb compared to past zombies. <laughs> Like, they really don't know where they're going. Even when they can see me, they can't quite get over to me. <laughs> Apparently a dust box. Yeah, it goes in here, doesn't it? Aha! I remember it well. Now that I'm back here. Ah. Whoa, okay. I'm going to assume that I'm firing at people. Whoa. Come on, seriously? Seriously? Wow, burning through ammo. Burning through ammo. <laughs> Whew, alright. To be honest, we don't know what enemies are down here, so this could be a big mistake going in here with just a pistol. <laughs> could be walking into a boss fight, for all I know. Oh, Jesus. Whoa! Okay, that auto-aimed. I didn't realize I was doing that. Oh, come on, he's still alive, really? Just go down and stay down. I'm really happy I saved all this ammo. Because holy shit, there's a lot of guys around here. Well, I guess these were all the ones that were banging on the windows before. Oh, it's all coming together. Whoa, shit. Oh, really? Oh, no, he's dead. Okay, well, that was a crazy amount of ammo. Not so happy about that. Nothing here seems to be useful. Guess I could have made use of that barrel of... Oh, my God, there's another one. Shit. <laughs> okay, well, that could have been... That could have gone way smoother. Okay, so there's a door there, and there's a door here as well. We'll go in here first. Wow, okay. Let's see if there's any items here. It's probably really clear on the video, but I can't see a thing. I'm going to have to modify the, the brightness a little bit, I think. Ooh. Hello, Shiny. Can I pick you up, Shiny? Chemicals are un with unfamiliar names are arranged here. Seriously, bullets. Thank you. And this looks like a thing that I can't quite get at. My perspective is a little bit messed up here. There we go, first aid spray. Okay, unfamiliar names, got it. Bloodstained scalpels are scattered here. It appears that he is being anatomized. He is not breathing. Good. I'm glad it I'm I prefer it when they don't breathe, to be honest. Whoa. A body bag has been left here. Jeez. So are we thinking something's going to shoot out of that body bag? Because I'm thinking something's going to shoot out of that body bag. 
Where the hell am I, by the way? Okay, this looks like a room. Ooh. Precious documents. Anatomist's note. There is a demon in my mind. I can't control the fierce impulses that the demon sometimes drives me to act upon. It is a brutal ceremony. With the demon next to me, I enjoy watching people agonize in pain, screaming and convulsing repeatedly as they die. But Sir Alfred was kind enough to acknowledge me, and has given me the facilities, chemicals, and equipment, in inverted commas, necessary to study everything. I must never betray Sir Alfred's kindness. It is especially critical that no one discovers the sacred place that only he and I know about, but I will write down anyway. I swear the basement of this medical building will be kept secret. I don't know why. It's going to be so secret that I'm only going to make a copy of this. A copy of where everything's actually hidden. Of course, I keep the key to the sacred place with me at all times. Even if an outsider sees it, they will never be able to tell that it is the key. I must remember that my life ends when I lose Sir Alfred's trust. Okay, so there's clearly a key that doesn't look like a key. Got it. Hey, this is Resident Evil. That's, that's pretty much the name of the game. An elaborate model of the human body. Something seems to be missing. Aha! We need an eyeball of some description. Also, I'm not totally convinced that that's a model, but whatever. <laughs> Alrighty, well, at least we got stuff to go on now. Got a little bit confused before, but we're good now. Ah, uh, but yeah, I gotta pause it for now, guys. But thank you very much for watching this episode of Code Veronica. And please do join me for the next one, guys. It's all about progress, progress, progress from here on in. I will see you in a bit. See you later.